Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well guys, we got another solar panel review. This is a folding solar panel. It's a 200 watt solar panel. Price isn't too bad. It's made by a company called Rofi. We're gonna go ahead and unbox this, take a really good close look. We're gonna test it, and we're gonna see how it does. So let's go ahead and get this party started. Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored. We received this product from the vendor. But keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. And there it goes. All right. Pretty compact. So let's go ahead and uh, open it up and take a look at it. So let's go ahead and look in the pouch and see what we get. We get a user guide. We get the specs right here. We'll share that in a little while. You get, um, M okay, MC4, so I'll find out how long this is too, that'll be helpful. And then you get this conversion, which is kind of cool. So if you want to convert from MC4 to any of these, right, XT60, different size barrels, and Anderson, that's included. Wow, that's kind of like a $30 cable, actually, and it seems like it's made well. So that's uh, really nice that you get that. Let's see how long this cable is that you get. It's kind of nice. So, uh, yeah, we're looking at about 78 uh, inches long. So a little over six feet. That'll be helpful in some cases. That's nice. Let's take a look at one of the kickstands here. And uh, it just kind of opens up. All right. It's got a flexible strap. And it has a button to keep it in place. So when you're traveling, uh, these won't flop around. That's kind of nice. So let's put up some basics before we go ahead and set this up. So this is a $399 solar panel. I have seen it on sale. We'll put links in the description, okay? You'll check it out. It only weighs 12.9 pounds or 5.8 kilograms. All right, I'll put up the waterproof rating as well so you know about that. And uh, this thing has a two-year warranty. All right, now let's put up uh, open circuit voltage is 24 by 48 volts and short circuit current is 11.66 amps. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. Now when it's opened up, you do get three of these kickstands, all right? And again, they're gonna be flexible so they'll allow you to adjust the angle because of that strap as you can see but you get one two and you get three so that's going to be helpful one tool i like using is this uh, angle finder so that you know you have the panel in the correct angle there's a dot there that creates a shadow and that shadow you really want in the center as much as possible and that'll tell you you know you pretty much have the best angle now I know I don't have the right angle this way I'll show you that so as you could see here the shadow is uh, to the bottom and to the left side it actually needs to be more this way and then it needs to be moved back more so let's play with this a little bit all right, I adjusted the angle and I've got really practically the perfect angle. Check this out. You see that? It's, you know, the shadow is in the center. 
right? If it was turned this way, that wouldn't be good if it was turned the other way. So really good. Let's go ahead and see what we're producing here with this 200 watt panel. One thing I always recommend is getting some extra cable, right? Because, you know, that's a nice long cable, but, the, you know, you might have the power station sitting in the sun. Um, your, your best bet is putting your power station or whatever you're going to be charging somewhere else. So, you know, you can get 20, 30, 40 feet. It just depends on what you're powering. But um, we're going to go ahead and just connect this so we could see what kind of power we're producing. But we've got a little bit longer cable. We'll put some links in the description. This is the EcoFlow River 2 Max. It just came out. We did a review on it. Uh, we'll put some links in the description so you can check that out. But basically, yeah, we're just going to connect this, right? And we're going to watch the screen to see what type of wattage that panel is uh, creating, okay? So let's go ahead and push this in. And grab a hold and take a look. All right, we're starting. 154 watts out of a 200 watt panel. That's really good. Now this battery is 82% charged. So with those 155 watts, it says it'll take a half hour to charge this. And think about it, after you pay for your equipment, charging with solar can save you some money down the road. And when your power goes out, you've got a power station and a solar panel that can help you power a refrigerator for a couple of hours, maybe some lights, and charge your phone. Pretty good. Now, one tool you want to get, this is a solar disconnector tool. It's inexpensive. We'll put links in the description. But basically, to, to just disconnect, you know, let's say this cable here, right? You see how there are two pins right here? So what we want to do is these clips here will go underneath like so and they'll be pushing these pins in right now allowing us to remove the cable so you see that so they basically very simple tool to use and uh, we'll put links in the description what i like about these kickstands is they allow you to actually have this at a high level here you see how that look at that angle and then if i want i could and i got to drop all three so you could see how far this thing can lean back i mean look at that and that thing really leans back real nice too so very flexible let's go ahead and see how easy this thing is to close up too by the way so what i would do is uh, lay it down okay take these just kind of clip them in so they don't flop around Brooklyn's out here having fun okay and then um, what you want to do because this is kind of like a suitcase is you're going to close it like that and this handle is like magnetic all right there you go so the handles magnetic which is really cool so it just kind of grabs on and you're ready to rock and roll easy to carry lightweight not too bad another thing i like that they did with this panel is they give you these loopholes right because maybe you might want to mount this a different way or you might want to hang it a different way right so it actually includes one on each corner okay so you get the all the way the front and the back and then you do get two in the middle all right so that can actually be helpful when you want to arrange this and where you want it to be now let's go over some details right just you don't want to connect any solar panel to any power station because you want to make sure that the power station can handle what the solar panel produces believe it or not if you did get a solar panel that produced more open circuit voltage all right, you could actually damage the uh, MPPT controller, which is going to really control the solar. You'll be able, you'll probably damage that. So don't do that. So let's take a moment and let's talk about the solar panel for a minute. 
Um, open circuit voltage, I'll put in the corner there. Open circuit voltage is right up on the screen. All right, and now let's look at the open circuit voltage range for the River 2 Max right there. Okay, so as you can see, this solar panel is definitely compatible with the River 2 Max. All right, now what about um, short circuit current, right? That's your amperage. The solar panel, I'll put up right there. Okay, and let's go ahead and put the River 2 Max as well. So as you can see, everything is in line and uh, did pretty good, did really good. So I hope that information's helpful. So nice combination, actually. This panel produced 155 watts out of the 200. It's about 69 degrees today, so that's not bad. The hotter it gets, the lower it'll produce. That's just a known fact. Heat will affect performance, all right, but not bad at all. And uh, I will put a link in the description for the solar angle guide and, of course, the um, MC4 disconnector tool and some extra solar cable. All right. But I really hope you found this review helpful and uh, definitely give us a thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. It helps the channel and it helps the video. Share our video also, by the way. And if you do share our video, let us know in the comments so we can give you some love because that really helps us out. It really does. And hey, if you're new to the channel, we hope you definitely subscribe, become a part of the family. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook right up there and check out our new Tesla channel. We just got a Tesla and we're doing some reviews for now and long term we're going to start to share, you know, what it is to go from a gas vehicle to a battery vehicle. But guys, thanks so much and you have a wonderful day.